He wasn't my type at all. My type was actually Paul Walker recipe. Ever since I was little, I never really crushed on guys. It was mainly, mainly women, but just something about them, I guess. Don't, I was more interested don't in touch me. Paul. Even when I met him, I was like, uh, don't, don't he's kind of old. Tyree's girlfriend totally disrespected him live on camera. In this episode, we are going to watch the full video. I'm about to drop fat listen to keep you away from making the same type of mistakes. Make sure that you stick to the end of the video as I'm going to explain exactly what happened to Will Smith and how you can stay away from such situations. Let's dive into it. He wasn't my type at all. Really? My type was actually Paul Walker recipes. <laughs> but I... <laughs> he wasn't my type at all. And my don't, type is not white. I'm just saying I was more interested don't in touch me. Paul and every Fast and Furious. Don't touch me. Um, and even when I met him, I was like, uh, don't, don't he's kind of old. Uh, I just like his smile. It's pretty cool. This, um, this one, this one his really His personality, bad. his personality This was, just went really bad, really fast. His personality was okay, but he I'm getting off live. He didn't understand the Instagram model. Um, thing so he would always talk down. So on you wanted the homie, models. you didn't want me. Um, I never and, said I wanted the homie, I just said he was cuter. You said I'm old. Mm -hmm. You know all this already. I wasn't mm -hmm. your type either, so relax. And um, yeah, so now we're here. Listen number one never be a second choice as a man. This is a pure lack of respect. That means that you're not that important. You're just a reborn plan. This is why the woman should be more in love than the man in the relationship. The only way for a woman to be happy and fulfilled in the relationship is if is the price. Let me say it again. The only way for a woman to be happy in the relationship is only if the man is the price. If is the price, then she will be happy and feeling lucky to be in that relationship. If she's the price, because women are hypergamous, it's not going to last, as simple as that. If you're digging this content, show us some love by smashing the like button. And if you like this content, subscribe to be part of the family. Let's continue. The second lesson, as a man, never be needy. You always need to have this abundance mindset. It doesn't mean that you're going to go around and sleep with a lot of women. No, it means that you have the realization in your head that if push comes to shove, you know that you will be able to find another woman quite easily because you're a man of a certain value, a high value man. Women hate this type of beta behavior when a man is acting as a woman, trying to seek physical contact, trying to seek kisses, this is exactly the type of behavior that women have. And when a man is giving this type of vibe, this is a total turn off for women. I'm not saying that men should not be affectionate towards their woman. However, when you're always the one trying to reach for a hand, reach for kisses, reach for a hug, then something is wrong and you are in your feminine nature, not in your masculine nature. Let's study some photos. You can see here on this photo or here on this photo or even here, the type of dynamic in the couple is the one seeking the validation. And as a man, that should not be acceptable. You should not be the one seeking the approval and the validation of your woman. The woman natively is the one that is seeking this type of energy. So when a man is doing this, not only is turning off the woman, but he's also giving negative vibe to the woman. And as a result, it's very likely that the woman is going to disrespect him in public as it happened to Tyrese. Lesson number three, keep the frame. It means setting boundaries and limits from the get go. 
It's so complicated when you've been in a relationship for quite some time to try to impose boundaries or limits. It's much easier to do it from the get-go. At the beginning of your journey with your partner, you need to set clear boundaries. And as soon as the boundaries are going to be set and clearly defined from the beginning, then the relationship will be much easier, much more fulfilling as well, because she knows what she can do, you know what you can do, and both of you can actually work in this framework. Lesson number four. Do not marry a promiscuous woman. Unfortunately, Tyree's already divorced twice, but for him, he doesn't actually get the lessons associated with the marriage and why they failed. They failed because he didn't marry the right type of woman, as simple as that. And he's making the same mistake again. Now, he's dating an IG model, a woman with lots of followers that is selling a body half naked most of the time in order to get some money. This is not the type of woman that should be wife material, not for a high value man. And you can see that she doesn't respect him at all. This type of woman, they like only the bad boys. Check out this extract. Women liking bad boys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a point where women stop liking the bad boys and go for the nice guys? No. no. That's no. a wet boring. <laughs> Why do you think that is? It's boring. There ain't no yeah. excitement. We love a bit of toxicity. <laughs> a little bit. In the Masculine Academy channel, we provide you all the tools necessary for you to become your best version and to succeed in relationship. If you're interested to join a group of like-minded individuals that are successful, that want to improve every single day, the men in the community are amazing and it is totally free. Join our community on Locals. Click on the link in the description. Okay. Yes, do. do you want to experience other men? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Exactly. I, don't. I, mean, I like women said, um, a lot more. See? So, I get it. No. Okay. Why do you like women a lot more than men? Um, I don't know what it is. Ever since I was little, I never really crushed on guys. It was mainly, mainly women. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's just something about them, I guess. And listen number five. If a woman asks you to be in an open relationship, that's a red flag. If a woman, your woman, wants to sleep with other men, that is totally a red flag. The vast majority of women do not want to sleep with other men if they are in love in their relationship. The women that respect their men will not want to sleep with other men. When the woman is asking for an open relationship where she's sleeping with other men, this is passing the disrespect level. She's for the street. And at this point, there's no point staying together. And the best example I can find is Will Smith with Jada. Check out this video. Does right. that mean you all can have other partners, but you just have to be respectful with each other? So people only think in terms of sex. People are trying to put something on it. Will and Jada, they what they what they doing with other people? Yeah. Right? Will and Jada ain't really doing too much of nothing. I got into a different kind of entanglement. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes. We agreed that she had to make herself happy and I had to make myself happy. And then we were gonna present ourselves back to the relationship. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for life. <laughs> and this is why men should not be needy. And in the case of Will Smith and Jada, I will let you check these pictures here, for example, or this picture, or even this one, or this one. He's being needy. He's the one embracing the feminine energy. You can see that he's the one that wants to have the kisses. He's the one that thinks that she's the prize. And unfortunately, women do not like being the prize. Even if they say the contrary. They are much more happy in a relationship when they feel that the man is the prize. We met at Baltimore School of the Arts. It was the first day and he came over to me and introduced himself. Um, and in high school, Paco was a little funny looking. Definitely from 
looking at him wasn't necessarily like the type of cat that I would even like was a bad boy. deal with, you know. But as soon as he approached me, he was like a magnet. It was like once once you paid attention to him, he kind of sucked you in. Um, and we hit it off from that moment on. He would tell me all the time, Jada, you're going to be a star. You know what I mean? I'm like, Pac, come on. He's like, you're going to be a star. You got it. You just got it. I don't think either one of us really thought that we would have made it in the way that we did. Check out the dynamic of the relationship in the pictures. But we knew we were going to do something. He was one of my best friends. Um, he was like a brother. And uh, sorry, he was a uh, I mean, it was beyond friendship for us, you know, as far as just, uh, it was really difficult to explain because the type of relationship we had, you only get that once in a lifetime. So he was like a brother, father figure to me, very protective and We took really good care of each other. We took really good care of each other, the best that we could. But we gave... We gave each other a lot. I'm sure that they gave each other a lot. Literally. Unfortunately, when a woman is an alpha widow, it means that she's stuck on the men in her past. There's nothing you can do about it. She's got the imprint of Tupac. And Jada, she only dated bad boys. This type of men. Will Smith had no chance from the get-go. And this is why when a woman doesn't want to be with you, there's no point insisting. And for a man like Will Smith, that is a superstar, that has the choice, trying to beg for some love, is extremely disappointing. And at the end of the day, as a man, you're the one in charge of your family. If you pick up the wrong person and have kids with that person, then you're going to have the impact of that decision throughout your life. But not only on you, it's going to be on your kids as well. And you can see the way Will Smith and Jada's kids are turning. Their boy is looking to become a woman. Their girls is trying to become a man. Both of them are suicidal. And this is what happens when you are in a household where the man is not doing his job, when the woman has no respect whatsoever for Will Smith. And as a man, this is your responsibility. You're the one in charge. You're the leader in your house. So if something doesn't go well, you're the one that should be accountable for it. And Will Smith should be accountable for the outcome of his life, but also of the life of his children. And this is why you should never be a second choice when it comes to your woman. What would you have done if you were in Will Smith's shoes, what would you have done if you were in Tyree's shoes? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and share it with your friends. If you like this type of reaction video, I'll let you check out our viral video on whatever podcast.